Good evening, everyone. Another four box break of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer Random Country Break number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. These are the last four boxes of this particular case that we opened up. So the last three breaks, I think, were, the, were from the same case. And then the next four box break will be from a fresh case of World Cup Soccer. So check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. A big thank you very much to these folks for getting to the action. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And there are the countries, combo bunch of countries as well. There you have it. Let's randomize each list 10 times. Five and a five, 10 the hard way, as they say. One, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Five and a five. We got TJ down to Raymond. Five and a five, 10 times for the countries. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got Iceland on top, Serbia, Senegal, Russia on the bottom, and all the other countries mixed in between. All right, so TJ with Iceland, Jason, Last Bot Mojo, Denmark, and Egypt. Andy with Argentina, and you've got Japan, Korea. Sebastian with Germany, Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia. Alan, you got France. Sebastian with Croatia and Sweden. Alex with Brazil. Jason with Spain. Andy with Portugal. Sebastian, Norway, Saudi Arabia combo. Poland, Peru combo. Netherlands, Morocco combo. Nigeria, Panama combo. Anthony with the Austria, Chile combo. Carlos, Carlos with England. Can't speak English right now. Sebastian with Uruguay. Uh, John Okre with the United States, TJ with Costa Rica, Andy with Colombia, Sebastian, Italy, and Ron, uh, and Mexico, Mike Tower, Australia, Belgium, Raymond, Serbia, Senegal, and Russia. Um, Costa Rica, I think the main guy might be Brian Ruiz. The I Iceland is kind of interesting because they had a really great... Um, uh, Euros two years ago, which is like the like the it's like a World Cup basically just for that conference. So they they've got a uh, Gilfi Sigurdsson is is one of the big ones, big names, bigger names in that Iceland group. They got a lot more built up a lot of their world soccer cred with that performance a couple years ago. Any trades? Remember, not every box has an autograph. I think most of you know this by now. Not every box has an autograph. Um, if they don't have an auto, then it's usually like a low numbered card. And like basketball, like even like the low numbered cards can sell for, you know, a lot on a secondary market. All right, let's close up that trade window. I don't think anyone's trading here. Yeah, Andy, that's, this is true. Andy S. saying that Iceland's decent. Might be some value in a World Cup wager. This is true. They are, according to my records, they are, uh, as of, I think as of like a week or so, but I don't think the lines have changed much since. Uh, they are plus 250 to advance out of the group. Plus 1,200 to... Uh, Plus 1,200 to win their group. I don't know if that's going to happen. Argentina's in their group, but plus 250. All right. Hot off the presses. There it is on a Friday. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Friday, folks. Always nice when, it's, when you guys are spending time with me on your weekends. So let's get that squared away here. All right, good luck, everyone. We were talking a little World Cup yesterday. When we were, or the last time we did this, was it yesterday? Last time we did one of these breaks. Good luck, everybody. World Cup coming up in about about a month now, right? I think middle of June, so.
Group A, I think my, my underdog pick in Group A to advance would be, would be Egypt. Plus 160, that's some decent value there. Russia's our heavy favorites to advance from the group, which makes sense. They're the host country. The host country usually gets a very nice boost. In Group B, I could see who's a good underdog. Underdogs are Morocco and Iran. I can't really see value in them advancing out of the group. They're both over plus 400. It's... Uh, but I can see them, uh, I can see an interesting bet being Portugal and not advancing from that group. That could be a little bit of value there instead of trying to bet the heavy favorite if you were into that thing. That's that's the thing about if, if you enjoy maybe a, a little uh, sports betting here and there. Being a contrarian, I think, is like a huge sort of thing. So that's 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 being part of it. Careful balance. Group C, France, Austria, Peru, Denmark. And France is the obvious one. But then, it's interesting. I don't know. Who's a good value here? Peru, maybe? Plus 250 just to advance from the group? All right, here's box one. We got Polino. So these uh, are not numbered, but they will still ship. It's just the common cards that will not ship. So that's why I'll breeze by those. But I think stuff like this is numbered. Yep, 80 out of 149 for Australia. Mile Jidanak. Australia-Belgium combo for Mike Tower. That's one of the guys you're looking for, TJ. Gilfi Sigurdsson. I agree with you, Andy. I, th I think it's going to be an early exit for for Portugal. There's Yamaguchi, 87 out of 125. That's for Japan, the Korea-Japan combo. Andy S. with that one. And there's our autograph. Road to Russia, Andrea Bellati. I'll send you that. I'll send you that Gilfie Sigurdsson, TJ. Road to Russia. Italy. That goes to Sebastian with the uh, with the Italy Iran combo. The Italy Iran combo. Boom. There you go, TJ. See? Just like that. There's Jose Jimenez for Uruguay. It's 006 out of 125. That one will go to Sebastian with that. And blue, Tim Cahill, 124 out of 199. Uh, former Everton guy, I think, right? Tim Cahill. I think a, a World Cup or two ago, this guy, this guy plugged in a really amazing goal. Maybe a World Cup ago, a couple World Cups ago. It was pretty amazing. Desney, Vertanian, Mohamed Salah. I'm a Liverpool supporter. This insert, I don't know. I don't know if it has any valid value, but because I'm a Liverpool guy, we'll do that. Egypt could be an interesting one.
Then we've got for Croatia, Daniel Subasic. I think is how you say it. 90 out of 125. Is Wayne Rooney going to DC United? That's interesting. There you go. There's box one. That could be. That could be very interesting. That's the rumor. Uh, do you think that was all planned? Planned as in, uh, uh, How do you mean? Like, like he wasn't supposed, to, or like the, the the plan for him to move to the MLS all along? That could be a shot. I don't know. Is he out of contract? Not sure what his contract status is with with Everton right now. But that's a good. That, that could be interesting. I think I, he has still has some legs in him, Wayne Rooney. I feel like he could still do pretty well in, in the MLS. Zlatan's first game for LA Galaxy looks pretty incredible. If anybody saw highlights of that a number of weeks back, but I support the Galaxy as well. LA Galaxy, Liverpool FC. Uh, I don't know who I'm supporting in the World Cup because we're not in it. Can't believe we're not in the World Cup. But, so I guess I would support, I usually default to England because there's a lot of Liverpool players are on the England squad. Korea's not really going anywhere. <laughs> That's about it. I, if, if I suppose I could go North America, I could support Mexico, North America. For Andy S, for Andy Schrofer, he's got Minnesota United. That's right. Where do they play? Do they play in the, in the Viking Stadium? Then Liverpool and then Hoffenheim for Bundesliga. Oh, they're at the Gopher Stadium. They're at the College Stadium. Okay. Sorry about that. Hit the mic. Let's go with box two. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm sure that has some value there. Irving Lo uh, Lo Lozano, that is. 16 out of 199 for Mexico for L3. That goes to Sebastian. I wonder what it's like. I, I have not been to... I haven't been to a soccer game in a minute or two, but... but um, I want to check out the new LAFC stadium. As a Galaxy supporter, I should just go there with my Galaxy gear. Cause some trouble in the stands. Um, but I heard that stadium looks pretty nice. These ones aren't numbered either, so they'll, they'll ship, but I'm sliding past those. There's the biter, Luis Suarez. And is that an autograph? It is. For Costa Rica. Nice. Follow... Juan Shopi. It's kind of a that's a nice autograph there. He's got a got got a big big loop on the P and then signs the rest inside. I dig that. Uh, that's TJ, Costa Rica. There it is. Yeah, nice goal scorer there. But a lot of people in LA are saying that LAFC, TJ is fire and Liverpool, nice. Uh, hey, you're welcome, TJ. Uh, this guy will ship too. Refractors are always nice. The silvers are always cool. It's a lot like basketball, folks, like Prism. Prism basketball. You know, you get the right players and they have the right parallels. They will they will do pretty well on a secondary market. Um, 
Hayes, Atlanta United through and through, he says. Uh, speaking of stadiums, I was saying that the LAFC stadium, a lot of people in Los Angeles are saying that could be the model for um, for MLS-only stadiums. Like That could be the blueprint for future MLS-only stadiums. It's a good size, and I think apparently... You can, you can sit there and you're like right on top of the field almost. Apparently it's really nice. They built it for those for the old school guys. They built it where the old uh, sports LA sports arena used to be. I think where the Clippers used to play there ages ago. Um, it's right next to the Coliseum in L, uh, for, for uh, you college football fans. There's uh, Alexander Lacazette, 21 out of 65. The Arsenal man. Uh, offensive Arsenal, I get it. Uh, that goes to France. That goes to Allen. But I heard that the stadium for Atlanta United, which is the Falcon Stadium, I hear it's a. I hear that's another beautiful place to watch uh, a soccer game. I want to say now you can Hayes correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say that they 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 black out some of the seats like in the in the upper part of the bowl to kind of give it a more intimate feel. Nice messy insert. So that messy insert will go to Andy. Oh, TJ hit this uh, the Costa Rican striker. Paulo. Oh, I see. I was gonna. I was gonna. I was gonna say. I was like, because I was sitting here going, oh, "Why is CJ a fan of the Chicago Fire? There must be a, must be a USL connection to it." That makes sense. So, Fire, the Chicago Fire, Tulsa, which TJ, of course, as most of you know, works for the Tulsa Drillers, but, um, but. He also, in his in his job title, under him is also merchandising for uh, for the USL soccer team. That I think the owners of the Tulsa Drillers own that soccer team too, right? So I think that's the connection. So the Roughnecks are affiliated with Chicago. Gotcha. That makes sense. Oh, and Tulsa was the first U.S. team to take on New Balance as a kit provider. Ah, okay. New Balance, of course, is the big kit provider for for uh, Liverpool as well. Gotcha. Of course, right? No, that all makes sense. I see all the connections, TJ. Um, yeah, John Okre, Andy is right. Christian Pulisic is like the big rookie. Well, not rookie. Sorry, this is the big name in in in, uh, in the hobby for uh, for the United States. He's about eighteen or nineteen. He plays for Borussia Dortmund, I think, in Germany, one of the bigger clubs in Germany, and uh, and he's supposedly. I mean, he is like a soccer prodigy. So, and his stuff sells incredibly well. So he's like our our next generation of our next wave of like soccer players. So as guys like Clint Dempsey are cycling out of World Cup cycles, Christian Pulisic is really like the main guy. You pull one of his hits, it sells pretty well actually. And we've got Kolarov. 99 out of 149 for Serbia. That goes to the Serbia-Senegal-Russia combo, Raymond, with that one. Roberto Firmino, one of the, one of the strikers for, uh, for Liverpool. Nice silver or refractor here. It's 
Cristiano Ronaldo again, Otamendi. So he's saying, yeah, they did. They opened them because too many people were coming. Oh, they and they opened them up? The top bowl for Atlanta United? And added standing room. Wow. Whoa, what's this? Argentina champions. I thought that was going to be like some sort of autograph, but I feel like that's a special. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't seen a lot of these champions inserts, so. Ah, the old 1978 Argentina team. I didn't, you know, I mean, me as a as a West Coaster, not knowing too much about, I've got friends out there too, uh, in in Atlanta. But soccer, I mean, I'm sure the I'm sure the numbers bore it out, which is why you know, the soccer expanded to Atlanta. I just didn't think that it was such a huge that it would end up being such a huge soccer town. You know, so like, what 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 is it, Hayes? Like, what what made it like such a such a big soccer town? So you're into soccer, you know. Like, they're breaking attendance records out there. Maybe it's got to be a lot of like, well, it's a big population there, a lot of suburbs, a lot of families, I guess, a lot of kids who play soccer. So maybe that all all that comes together. Nice. We've got Yusef. Mascani for Tunisia. 10 out of 20. Nice low number there for Tunisia. That goes to the Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia combo. That goes to Sebastian. I think that's the low number parallel that'll take a place of that of this box's autograph. Last box. Good luck everybody. Ed Ram, what's going on? <laughs> he says, not sure why they we're breaking records, attendance records. A lot of hipsters, I guess. Do hi hipsters, hipsters lean towards the soccer? Maybe, I guess so. Maybe they're like, yeah, we're not about the brutishness of, uh, of football and the, and the, and the old-fashioned baseball, you know? Not, in, not, not, not into that. Not into the showiness of basketball. So they they just go soccer. It's chic and European, I guess. <laughs> Ed Ram saying we have Dynamo. We can Houston Dynamo has been, been traditionally a pretty good MLS team. You should go. I mean, soccer games are pretty. Uh, soccer games are pretty cheap to go to. Like you could probably find a good deal on like StubHub for like a random match and just hang out. And if as long as you have like a a basic understanding of soccer, like it should be pretty fun to watch. Nice, Andy. Yeah, going to the, the, the Minnesota United game against San Jose tomorrow. And he loves it. Yeah, and it's cheap too, yeah. It's pretty inexpensive. Although LA Galaxy has gotten kind of expensive. They get you on the parking. That's how they get. You can get cheap tickets, but it's like ridiculous parking. All right. I think Andy's in Minnesota. It's up in Minnesota. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. We got. We'll have more boxes of this, and as we march closer and closer to the World Cup, we'll be discussing more and more in depth all of the groups, what everyone thinks, and it should be a lot of fun as we inch closer to the World Cup, which is very exciting. All all these uh, all these autographs and big hits that come out of here, like this one, like Gary Cahill for the Three Lions. Nice. These um, we pulled a German one. One for Germany. I forget who the player was. I think I think I know Rex got it though. He was saying that that one goes for like eighty to a hundred dollars. Like these are these are short, very short printed inserts right here. So double check the value on this. You might be surprised, England. That goes to Carlos. Check it out. But as we get closer to the World Cup, and as the World Cup starts happening, 
like the values of these cards will definitely see a boost. You know, especially with the big name players, but there could be a random player that gets pulled out of here that that may not really be anything. There's six out of twenty five Ricardo Rodriguez out of twenty five. That might be the low the low numbered card that replaces the autograph. That goes to Switzerland, that'll be for Sebastian. But there's always a couple players or so that just come out of nowhere, you know, and then just really play well in the World Cup and that boosts their value. That was, I think Hamas Rodriguez was the one. Um, a few, uh, a few, like last World Cup, Hamas Rodriguez of Colombia, I think, was scoring some ridiculous goals and he was like leading Colombia through the group and all that. 51 out of 65. Mitrovic for Serbia. That goes to Raymond. There you go. There's there's also Johan Berg Gudmundsson. TJ, that'll go out to you. There's Edison Cavani. So there's always uh, always someone that will just capture the minds and imaginations of, of people. There's Carvalho. Javier Hernandez. There's also Aaron Gunnarsson. Look at that one too. See what else we have here. We got a blue Hector Herrera for Mexico. Out of one ninety nine for Mexico, that goes to Sebastian. Those Mojo refractors aren't numbered either. That's why I've been kind of blowing by those. And last but not least. What else do we have? Looks like that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Uh, that was Prism World Cup Soccer 4-Box Random Country Break number 6 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next 4-Box break will be from a fresh case, so check it out. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.